Mr. President, I rise today to speak in support of the VA Accountability and Whistleblower Protection Act, bipartisan legislation that will help ensure that our veterans receive the care they deserve. We are veterans more than we can ever repay for their dedicated service. Part of this debt is providing our veterans with timely, high-quality health care. In my home state of North Dakota, our VA Medical Center is located in Fargo. It not only serves the veterans in North Dakota, but it also serves the western half of Minnesota as well. And if there's one thing that our veterans have made very clear about the health center in Fargo, from North Dakota and Minnesota, our veterans have made very clear that it is an outstanding health care center that provides high quality service. Um, our veterans love the Fargo VA. They do a great job. And it's important to note that the vast majority of VA employees are dedicated to serving our veterans and are working diligently to provide services to veterans in their communities. However, as recent events have shown, there are a number of instances where poor performance or misconduct by a VA employee has had tragic consequences. In cases like these, the VA needs to have the ability to address these situations and to do it in a fair but expeditious manner. This bipartisan legislation will provide the VA Secretary with, that nece with the necessary tools to do just that and ensure that VA employees are putting our veterans first. Specifically, this legislation establishes in law the Office of Accountability and Whistleblower Protection within the VA, a post that was created earlier this year through executive order. It authorizes the Secretary of VA to reprimand, suspend, demote, or remove VA employees at any level and hastens the appeal and review process. Additionally, it establishes protections for whistleblowers. These are important reforms. These are reforms that are important for our veterans. And that's why the legislation has garnered the support of many veterans organizations. It's garnered the support of our North Dakota VA commissioner, as well as the veteran service organizations, including the American Legion, the AMVETS, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, the Military Officers Association of America, and others. And also, it's garnered the support of co-sponsors on both sides of the aisle here in this chamber. 73 years ago, over 160,000 brave Allied troops landed on the beaches of Normandy. I can think of no more appropriate day to pass legislation that honors our commitment to our veterans and helps ensure they receive the care that they have earned. I want to thank the Committee Chairs, Senator Isaacson of Georgia, also Senator Tester of Montana for their outstanding bipartisan leadership on this important language. And I particularly also want to thank Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, who is the prime sponsor of this legislation and has been a champion for veterans' issues. I know that this accountability issue is one that he has spoken out on consistently often and passionately on behalf of our veterans. And so I want to thank him for his leadership on this very important legislation and at this point yield to the prime sponsor of this bill, Senator Marco Rubio. Senator from Florida. And I want to thank the, the Senator for his kind comments. Uh, this issue uh, is one that I think matters to all 100 members of this chamber and millions of Americans. And uh, I, I, too, find it timely that here we are on 73 years to the day of the incredible sacrifices that were made on that beach in Normandy, and that uh, we have the opportunity to honor the men and women who have served us before then and since then, and particularly those who are now in need of services with the passage of what is truly landmark legislation 